Good evening, fellow Kenyans. I hope you're well and relaxed and uh, just doing what is good for yourself and the country. You know, this is my take today. And it's very critical that I speak to this because as Kenyans, we need to talk to each other, teach each other and speak the truth and not lies. Before I do that, if you're following this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Philip Etale, like this video and share it. The President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency William Samoy Araproto, this afternoon addressed the nation. He spoke so passionately about the happenings of the past two weeks in the country where protests have marred most parts of the country because of the finance bill, which most Kenyans believe is not suitable at this particular time of the economic troubles and problems that we are facing in the country. He has addressed the nation. It is his responsibility as a president of Kenya to talk to these issues and put the record straight. I want to congratulate him for talking to Kenyans, listening to the cries of the young people who poured to the streets to demonstrate and even protest against the Finance Bill 2024. It was not easy for them. They went on the streets. They protested. But again, I will say, the infiltrators who are sent to tarnish the image of these young people so that they can look violent made everything worse, leading to police shooting, using live bullets on the protesters. As you have been watching on TV and even on YouTube channels across the country, majority of these protesters have been young people of age between 18 to 25. Very young, pretty young people who have a future, people who have ambitions in life. And I would say they sent their message. It has reached. But again, now that the president has responded and even sent condolences to the families of the victims of police shooting yesterday, I want to make the following observation. As a patriot, not as a critic of the government, I love my country and I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to this country. Neither would I want anything bad to happen to the government. But I want to set the record straight. I'm not a lawyer, but I love reading. And as a journalist, I have to read. I'm a journalist by profession. And I have to make this point clear to you, if you care to listen. The president has said categorically that he has declined to assent to the bill as, present, as passed by parliament due to the cries of the young Kenyans who have been protesting for the past two weeks. That is a welcome move. Congratulations, Mr. President. But again, he says he has rejected the bill in totality. That is not practical. It is not anywhere in law. The president has no mandate in law to reject a bill that has gone through all the stages of parliament. First reading, second reading, committee of the whole house, and the third reading. If there is any contrary opinion to this, I challenge any lawyer or anyone who has the understanding of the law, the constitution of Kenya, 
and the standing orders of parliament to challenge this. I want to read the law as it is, the Kenyan constitution that was passed on the 7th, on the 8th of August, 2010 and promulgated on the 27th of the same month. Article 115 of the Constitution of Kenya. Presidential Assent and Referral. It says, number one, within 14 days after receipt of a bill, the President shall A. Assent to the bill or B refer the bill back to Parliament for consideration by Parliament, noting any reservations that the President has concerning the bill. This is through a memorandum to the Speaker of Parliament. Two, if the President refers a bill back for reconsideration, Parliament may, following the appropriate procedures under this part, A, amend the bill in light of the president's reservations or b pass the bill a second time without amendment three if parliament amends the bill fully accommodating the president's reservations the appropriate speaker shall resubmit it to the president for assent four parliament after considering the president's reservations may pass the bill a second time without amendment or with amendments that do not fully accommodate the president's reservations by a vote supported a by two-thirds of members of the national assembly and b two-thirds of the delegations in the senate if it is a bill that requires the approval of the senate number five if Parliament has passed a bill under clause 4, A. The appropriate speaker shall within seven days resubmit it to the President, and B. The President shall within seven days assent to the bill. Number six, which is very crucial here. If the President does not assent to the bill, or refer it back within the period prescribed in clause A or assent to it under 5B, the bill shall be taken to have been ascended to on the expiry of that period. That means that within seven days, this bill will be taken to have become law naturally so what the president ought to have done was to reject the bill with a memorandum written to the speaker of parliament singling out areas that he needs to be amended in the bill but since he hasn't done that after the expiry of the stipulated time this bill shall be deemed to have become law. Lawyers know this, but they won't say it. I mean lawyers in government, including the Attorney General, the Speaker of the National Assembly, the Speaker of the Senate, and any other lawyer in Parliament, including the Chair of JLAC, Honorable Murugara, the Honorable Chep Konga, and others and even the deputy speaker who is a respected teacher of law honorable gladys boshole know this particular clause in the constitution so fellow kenyans as much as i want to agree with the president of the republic of kenya on the issues raised by kenyans and the decision he has made i want to disagree with him on the issue of rejecting the bill in total. That has never happened unless there's a new constitution which he is trying to refer to while making that decision. This is my take. Thank you.